So if you if you buy my new book that's not here yet, there's a free <laughs> download to this poem as a song in the book. It's so, real good. It's, yeah, it should be good. Just fucking finish it. <laughs> All right. Once your house has been robbed, you never really sleep the same. Strange noises are amplified. Even the subtlest of sounds signal your sensitive senses an intense surge of adrenaline since they could be symptoms of attempted entry. A creak sounds like a footstep. Whistling wind or windows tapped by branches equates to intruder and acts protective on edge insomnia. Sleeping with one eye open becomes more than just a cliche. Doors don't seem so much like impenetrable barriers when you see one splintered by a crowbar, empty driveway, dark windows, a bullseye, invitation. Once you've been cheated on, you never really love the same. Distrust becomes defense mechanism to protect your ever vulnerable heart. I love you becomes question, not statement. Out with friends is now alibi. Once always trusting, now constantly questioning, second guessing. When your house has been broken into, your knowledge of homeowners insurance policies and procedures exceeds that of Aaron Rodgers or Chris Paul, and your already limited faith in law enforcement wanes further. Neighbors become potential witnesses. I wish a motherfucker would becomes I pray nobody ever does again. When your heart has been broken, mutual friends become potential witnesses. She loves me more than that becomes why doesn't she love me anymore? Bitterness becomes a necessity because you don't trust yourself with another's heart when yours has been mishandled. When your home has been invaded, bedside baseball bat becomes necessity because you only really trust yourself with a gun, especially in a neighborhood where the cops don't give a shit about the residents. And even if my neighborhood watch were active, these days that wouldn't make me feel any safer. Now, there's a sign on my street that reads 1996-97 Community of the Year. I think it's safe to say that sign can come down now. Next to my refrigerator, I keep a whiteboard where early on in our relationship, she wrote, I love you, smiley face, in the bottom left-hand corner. I think it's safe to say that can be scrubbed off now. See, once you've been robbed and once you've been cheated on, the thing you miss the most is not your TV or your laptop. It's not the sex, the companionship, the friendship, it's not your Xbox, your stereo, the romance, the intimacy, it's not even her. The thing you miss the most is the capacity to trust people. 